and we're going to replace the rear main seal. So what I've done, I've just taken all the bolts out and we're just going to take off a little plate, retainer plate there and the drive plate. It doesn't want to come off very easily, it's pretty tight on that uh, crankshaft there. So <coughs> I'm just going to work it a little bit slowly and, and then I'll try and lever it off. There we go, you can see the seal there, <clears throat> you can see that it's been leaking a fair bit. Um, we'll also just nip up these bolts here, and also a good idea to give it a good clean before you take it out, you don't want any of that muck going back inside there when you're putting the new seal in. So just give it a bit of a wire brush around and a blow out and even if you've got a bit of solvent in a spray can, brake cleaner or whatever you use, you can um, give that a bit of a squirt as well. Now you might be tempted to just put a screwdriver into this and lever it out, but uh, what can happen is you can damage that alloy housing there or scrape the crankshaft and then you'll get a constant leak out of there. So what I do, so I've got this little tool I made up out of Rio bar and some spring steel and you can see it's got like a point on it. And what I actually do is I hammer it just on the outer edge, not right on the edge, in a little bit, in the seal, so I'm damaging the seal, not the... And I hammer that in, and then I'll just use the head of the hammer to just lever it out. Sometimes you might have to, because it's such a large seal, you might have to do it in a couple of places to get it out. But it's very important, very critical to not damage the outer housing or the crankshaft. It's in there pretty hard, so I'm just going to use a screwdriver. Make sure it's a screwdriver that has the metal end or you'll end up breaking the plastic on your screwdriver. And just carefully, and there we go, it's just started to move now. And they're pretty tight. There she lies. Just be careful not to push the screwdriver in too far. We will end up scratching that uh, crankshaft there.
There we go. There's the old rear main seal. And if you have, care to have a look, you can see that that lip's sort of flattened out in there. It should have a nice sharp lip. There's also a little spring in there that's supposed to keep tension on it there. Yeah, I'm just going to have a little peek in there. Sometimes those seals will wear a little um, groove in the crankshaft. So if that happens, you just try and either knock it in a little bit less or a little bit deeper in and it'll sit on a new spot. But that one looks pretty good. Now we've got the, the new rear main seal. You can see how much of a nice sharp edge there is there. And it's a lot more raised. And when you're tapping these in, you just try and get it in as evenly as possible. Um, and also you need to get that lip started over that. So I'm just going to put a little bit of oil on there just to make it slide on there a little bit easier and I'll sort of wind it on like that if that spring comes off then you've got to start all over again And you just try and tap it in as evenly as you can. And I've just got this bit of bronze or brass. I'm just going to get run around and make sure it's just nice and level with that. That's surface there. And that looks good. There we go. Most important part is not to damage that housing there, the housing or the crankshaft when you're putting it in. But it's not a difficult job to do. And I'm also going to just nip up these bolts here, um, just make a little bit tighter. Might reduce a bit of the oil leaking out of there as well. Anyway, hope that's shown you how to do it. Um, it does look very simple, but uh, you've got to be very careful again um, not to damage any of the housing or the crankshaft when you're putting the seal back in. And also, don't forget, just whack it in. If that spring falls out on the inside, then there's going to be nothing to take up that rubber as that's working and the seal's going to leak. Anyway, thank you for watching.